Hey, what's going on? It's Milwaukee Mo. Today we're going to change an alternator on a 2004 Chevy Silverado 5.3. We're going to be doing it using my Milwaukee 3 8 in a tight bind. And the tools used here today will be a 3 8 Milwaukee Impact pry bar, a long extending 3 8 ratchet, a 3 8 extension, 15 millimeter, 10 millimeter. 8mm. Now you can get by using a 3 8 ratchet, 15mm, 10mm, flathead screwdriver, and 8mm. Can do this job on their own. However, you probably need a pry bar. Um, I cheat with my 3 8 all day long, and the extended ratchet was definitely a big help. Okay, to get started, I'm going to remove the negative battery terminal using a 8mm. Get that out of the way. Now you can use a flathead screwdriver, however, I'm going to use my 8mm to remove my hose clamps. the intake. One handed of course. Now no need to unplug your map sensor. You can just pull your duct out. Set it to the side. You will now need a 15 millimeter and a long ratchet or a Serpentine belt tool to remove the tension off of the pulley tensioner. Put that to the side. And slide my belt under my toddler pull. Put my lead tension on that so I can keep it routed. Now I'm going to take your 15 millimeter ratchet and remove these two bottom bolts. Alright, now you go ahead and pull the sleeve back and you'll need a 10 millimeter. So go ahead and pull that off. Pull that out of the way. Last but not least, to get your flathead or your finger, pop that clip up back there, and with a little bit of prying, the alternator is now loose. All right, for installation, just do everything in reverse with your new alternator. Uh, be sure to disconnect that battery for safety. And thanks for watching Milwaukee Mo. I'll see you on the next one.